Hello and welcome to the Kalan app. The Kalan app is a high performance, highly reliable and easy to implement scheduling solution for ManyChat, connecting your ManyChat page with your Google Calendar. And it's so easy to implement that within the next four minutes, we are going to create a classic one-on-one -on -one event so your customers can schedule an appointment with you, they can reschedule or cancel it, they can opt in for appointment reminders, and they can also add the appointment to their own calendar. Sounds good? So let's get started. So to get started, install the calendar app to your ManyChat page and go to the app settings. Then you have to get an API token and a member ID from calendar-app.de slash settings. Right here, sign in with your Google account. Next, authorize your Google Calendar by ticking the box and clicking on Authorize Calendar and then select the same Google account again. Click on Continue. And right there, you have your token and your member ID. Copy the token and paste it into the according field and the same with the member ID, then click on Save. And just like that, you've successfully connected your ManyChat page with the calendar app. Now click on continue and let's install a free manager template to increase our workflow just by a lot. Install this to your manager page and then go to view dashboard. Right here, we're selecting classic one-on-one -on -one event from the calendar app templates. And just like that, you created your first calendar app event as a one-on-one -on -one event with you. You don't have to do any other settings, it's just everything is just done for you. What we are focusing right now is how to actually start the scheduling process. Where do you have to do what in your uh, ManyChat flow? And we made that super easy for you. Simply click on the three dots right here and then click on edit a demo flow right here. And as you can see, we have a starting step and nothing more but just this action to schedule an appointment and import an event from Calendar app. If you click on that and you click on the drop down, you see this classic one on one event schedule messenger option. Select it, click save, and then click preview. And this is it. This is with just this action, you actually start the booking process. If you hop over to Messenger, we see we've received a message with a button. And if you click on that, we see our calendar, some text and images that we edit in just a second, and with an exact representation of our Google Calendar. Now, if you click on the 19th of October and schedule an appointment for here 12 o'clock midnight, we see that the appointment is booked and we have received a confirmation message in Messenger with date and time, as well as an option to notify, um, to get notified about the appointments, like appointment reminders, and an option to reschedule or cancel the event. If you take a look at our Google Calendar, um, right here in our primary calendar, we see that we have an event with the name and some additional information about the subscriber. So congratulations, you scheduled your first event with the calendar app. Let's focus on how you can reschedule and cancel the appointment. For that, we go back to the calendar app, to the event, we click on edit, and we open this confirmation flow by clicking on this pencil right here. The concept of the flow already looks super familiar to you because we simply have some messages and the action of our first flow with that we use to import the calendar app um, information. And if you click on rest, reschedule right here, from the drop down, we use classic one on one event reschedule messenger. Click save. For the delete option, we're simply selecting the delete option. And for the schedule option right here, we again select the schedule option. So click on preview 
to get an updated version of the flow. You will be prompted with another message once again, confirmation message right here. And then you have the option to reschedule or cancel the event. And this is basically it. This is the whole process of the calendar app. So real quick, if you want to change um, the name, you can obviously do that here. Um, click save. You can add multiple channels. Um, each channel needs a separate confirmation flow. You can um, also add cancel flows and um, change the custom fields in which the data is stored. If you want to um, edit text and images that are above the calendar, simply click on view demo calendar and add the image, uh, remove it and uh, edit the text right here. Don't forget to click save to save your event. Now, we're taking a look at appointment reminders and adding the appointment to the calendar in the next video. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions about the calendar app, simply go to support and create a support ticket. So subscribe to the channel to stay up to date when we release new videos and have fun using the calendar app.